Now, the National Communications Officer for the National Democratic Congress, Sami Jinfi, has asserted that the 24-hour economy policy which the next NDC administration intends to implement is not a mere political slogan, but rather an imperative initiative that has been properly thought through by experts. He was speaking at a symposium on the business and economic impact of the 24-hour economy in Accra. Former President John Dramani Mahama, as part of his campaign ahead of the December elections, outlined the 24-hour economy policy as an initiative he intends to implement when elected into office. The policy centers on transforming Ghana into a self-sufficient and export-led economy through a three-shift work schedule. To address some of the misconceptions about the policy, the Center for Ethical Governance and Administration organized a symposium under the theme Business and economic impacts of the 24 hour economy. Labor expert Austin Gummy speaking at the event described the policy as feasible. And I think that we are at peace, but we have a lot of work to do. Sure. I think that this is indeed a masterpiece, but we have a difference. And I want to also reiterate at once that. If I were to be in the shoes of Madame and my friend John, let me simply put it that way, who we'll say nothing again than speaking about the 24-hour economy for the next three, four, five months until the election. Because there is no need to say any other thing. Everything is anchored in the 24-hour economy. The digitization is a subset of the 24-hour economy. Senior lecturer at the University of Ghana, Professor Lord Mensah, believes the 24-hour economy policy can be well implemented if it is transferred to the private sector. And I think the government of the day must own this policy. And owning the policy means that you may have to provide the basic line. Somebody was asking, where would the financing come from? The financing by default, through the economic restructuring, through the monetary policy corridors, the financing will come. Because if interest rate goes down, private sector have access to funding, obviously the private sector will expand. National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jenfi, added the policy will benefit every Ghanaian, including workers in the public sector. The 24-hour economy strategy is not just a mere political promise by the NDC. That is something many don't know. Because even before it was featured in our manifesto, it had already been thought through and captured in the 40-year development plan which was put together by the National Development Planning Commission sometime between 2014 and 2016.